All right, well, this is um, a little tutorial on ScreenBird.com. My name is Adam. I'm the founder of ScreenBird. And my name is Adam Temple. Even it says Adam Fu up there, and I just put that in for my username. And I wanted to give you a quick tutorial about uh, just kind of the ins and outs here. We wanted to make a tool that was simple enough, that was collaborative enough, that was clean enough. And we're on our way to achieving that. Um, it's been quite a few months in production. And uh, so take a look around, and, and if you see bugs and, f and if you have any feedback, feel free to share that with us. Um, okay, so moving forward, first of all, you're going to want to hit the record button. It brings up a Java applet, and, and all that means is you have to hit yes a few times the first time that you use it. And say, yes, I allow this to run on my computer, and, and all that jazz. Um, you'll see here on the front page uh, that we're going to list some of the popular videos and the latest videos you can just get an idea for what other people are using our website for. You can use it for anything that's on your screen. It's not optimized for something that's super high CPU, CPU usage like gaming, um, but that's okay. We're, we're, this is really for training and, and tutorials for more simple applications. Um, okay, so I'll take you next to my... Actually, here let me show you a little bit about the recorder. Once you start recording a video, you're going to see this timer start counting up. You can record up to 30 minutes, and we might up that limit later. It's just uh, that was um, that's what we wanted to limit it to now to reduce errors. Um, you're going to get a, a warning at 29 minutes, and that's going to let you know that you're you're getting close to your limit. You can pause this and resume within a couple seconds or a couple minutes if you like. So that way, if you had an error or uh, you just need to make sure something is set before you move on. You can hit the pause button. If you want to come back later, a whole you know after you have restarted your computer, for example, you can just hit the done, and then next time you start recording, it's going to ask you if you want to use that video that's on your hard drive and not uploaded yet. So, oh, also you have the custom and full screen toggle button right here, which mine is grayed out because I'm currently recording. But what you'll see is the option to either do a square like this, and I'm in a smaller square, or you could do a full screen. Um, of course, the square you can change to any size that you like. And uh, the, the benefit for going with a smaller screen is that it's a bit m less of a file to upload, and, and your computer can handle it a little bit better. So there's a couple efficiency benefits. And if you want to be zoomed in on your subject, that's a bit better. Okay, so we'll move that out of the way. Um, and also, you can minimize it while you're recording, too. But I like to keep it open um, up here, out of the way, so I can see how much time is going on here. So going to my videos page, you'll see your videos laid out. Now, if you just want to use ScreenBird to push videos over to YouTube, then those videos are not going to count against the minutes that you get with a free account, meaning you can have an unlimited amount of videos in here as long as you just keep pushing them to YouTube and eventually we'll offer other services, you know, such as Vimeo. Um, and the reason is because it's not costing us much money to host it on a hard drive if it's on YouTube's hard drives. <laughs> so uh, if you want to be collaborative and have videos just shared within your your corporation or your organization, then you might not want to push them on YouTube and that's where you will want to think about going to a pro account and and that's how it stands today. So it's either 10 bucks a month or it's sixty dollars a year. So that's uh, that's pretty it's a pretty decent discount. And then here we go we list out some of the features. So take a look there. It works on Windows, Mac and Linux. That's the kind of the big one. So if I want to push this to YouTube, I, I click the YouTube button. I want to make sure that I'm in the right account on my YouTube. I was okay. This looks like the right account, so I'm going to say uh, here. You can't really see this. I'll, I'll move it over a bit. There you go. Uh, allow access. Yes, let's allow access. And then it's going to shoot me back to ScreenBird, and we're going to say this is what happens in. Chrome when I do uh, this or that, I forget what it was, and we'll just leave that unlisted because it's a little embarrassing. All right, so 
we're going to remove this video from our servers and push it over to YouTube um, if it's a successful transaction. And then YouTube's going to take a little bit of time to get this video ready for us. So YouTube's got to do their processing. And this page is going to refresh until it's ready. Okay, so I'm just going to move on from this and we'll come back to that in a second. It should be ready. Um, the important part is that uh, we're available here for you if you want to give us a try and then give us some feedback. We're open right now. It's a, it's a product that we know what we wanted for ourselves. Uh, but if you have some interesting ideas or some fixes, then please send those along. Uh, we're pretty darn open at this time. Um, this has been a short tutorial on ScreenBird. And, oh, I guess we can't leave without seeing if that, that video worked here. Uh, the cool part about this video is that oh, is that if um, if you've already shared this link, it's going to be the very same link um, that you've already shared. So, in other words, uh, right here, this screenbird.com slash gyr, that link is not going to change. So, anyone going to this page is, is going to see this very same video. It's just going to be hosted on... YouTube and embed it in our website. So I'm going to pause this and wait for this video to load. Hold on. Here we have the video loading. It took about another 60 seconds. Um, but of course that's going to depend on how um, busy YouTube is or not. So we can, for example, we can also see this video right over to, we can see this right on YouTube. So we'll just copy that URL. Put it in there. There we go, there is the unlisted video, it's on YouTube, it's also on Screenbird. So that way you get some consistency. Okay, so I hope you enjoy using Screenbird and please do be in touch. We'll chat later.